Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and if you are new, welcome to my channel. My name is Lindsay Renee, and I today I'm just going to be filming a updated nighttime routine. First of all, I just got out of the shower like an hour ago, and I let it dry, and now I'm using my Garnier uh, micellar water and a cotton round, I think they're the Walmart brand ones, to take off my makeup. I really like the micellar water because it doesn't tug much at my skin or my eyelashes when makeup wipes really do and it helps because I get the waterproof one to really take off my waterproof mascara. I always use two cotton rounds, one's dry and one is wet to get off the excess oil from the micellar water because it bothers my eyes. And now I am just flossing my teeth with a floss pick. I do this every night before I brush my teeth. And because I get up early in the morning, I keep my toothbrush in the other bathroom, so I had to bring it in for this video. But I like the Colgate Plus Scope um, toothpaste, and I use the Colgate Vibrating Toothbrush. It's a cheaper option than getting like a, I don't know what they're called, like a nice rotating ones, but it vibrates. I try to brush my teeth obviously in the morning and at night. I have been pretty good at obviously brushing my teeth twice a day, but it just really helps me feel ready for bed. And a new thing that I've been trying recently is this Listerine. It's the grapefruit, grapefruit like limited edition flavor. Um, I always rinse the cup out after I'm done and then screw it back on the lid. I like this because it doesn't really burn my mouth too much and it doesn't taste super minty. Now I always put my hair back for this. Usually I have a scrunchie. I could not find it for the life of me. But I am going to wash my face. This is the part that's really updated from the last time. I use this Equate Gentle Skin Cleanser, which is like the Cetaphil dupe. Um, I wet my face with warm water and then I scrub my face with this cleanser. Um, in my last uh, uh, nighttime routine, I didn't have... A skin routine I just kind of wipe my face with a makeup wipe but I did a lot of research on what some good cleansers were and this one is a good one I really have noticed that it has helped my face a lot too and I just dry my face as best as I can get any extra makeup that did come off because it always does a little bit comes off after I wash my face Dry it off the best that I can because then I'm going to use this Mario Badescu Rose Water Spray. Um, I spray like four or five, six sometimes, depending on the night it depends. And then I let that completely dry on my skin before I use the Gentle Skin Cream by Equate, which is also equivalent to the Cetaphil one. I barely use any. I put two dots on my cheeks, forehead, nose, and chin. And then I rub it in um, on my face. I really like the way that this has helped my skin be less dry. Um, it is like 20 degrees at night here normally. And so when I get up for work, it's really cold and my skin is dry. But I've really been loving it. Now I'm just going to pick out my outfit for the next day of work. And I always hang it up on the shower curtain of our hallway bathroom so that I don't have to wake Cody up in the morning. Now I'm just going to make my lunch. Um, I always make my lunch at night and today I decided to make myself a salad. Not because I wanted to, but because my produce was going to go bad. Who else is like me trying to just get rid of 
produce before it goes bad. Um, but I just chopped up this iceberg that you see here and obviously I washed it. But I chopped that up and I chopped up some tomatoes and some Thousand Island dressing I put on the side. And I added a pack of fruit snacks and a pack, um, pouch of applesauce and obviously my water bottle. This has been like a big routine for me, um, making my lunch every day. It's never the same. Sometimes I do sandwiches, sometimes it's leftovers, sometimes I make salads. It just kind of depends on what we have in the fridge. But it has saved us a lot of money and I like just being able to know what I'm going to have for lunch and not worry about going out and buying it or waiting in line. I just go grab my food out of the fridge and I know what I'm going to have, which I don't know why that's important to me. Um, but I'm going to be 100% honest, I didn't eat much of the salad. Um, I wasn't feeling that good today, so salad didn't sound the best, but I ate about half of it. But I put that in my lunch. And then I, you see here I'm doing the Thousand Island dressing on the side. And then I just put my lunchbox in the fridge for the next morning. But thank you guys for tuning in. Please like and subscribe and I will see you in the next video.